In this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial, we're going to take a look at removing veins from the sort of whites of the eyes, right? You have a lot of stuff going on in there and you have all these different veins and it can be really difficult to remove that stuff. So here's how I go about removing it. It's really a pretty simple trick. Number one, work on a new layer. You can name the layer whatever you want. I'm not going to take the time to do that. Then find your healing brush. So not the spot healing brush, but the healing brush. What you're going to do with the healing brush is set it to current and below and also just make the healing brush very small. You can do that by right clicking and just, you know, decrease the size just like that until it's just a little bit bigger than the veins. So well, you can't click. You can need to option or alt click to select a clean part of the eyeball. Again, make sure up here in the toolbar you have it set to current and below and then paint over uh, the vein and it makes it go away. Now, part of the issue with veins is you're going to have the veins that run all the way to the edge of the eyeballs. That was kind of an easy one to clean up because it was sort of in a nice clean area. One of the other techniques that I use probably a little bit more even than the healing brush, and you can see how effective the healing brush is, is the regular old clone stamp. Again, I set this to sample current and below because I'm working up on a clean blank layer. Now, the trick with the clone stamp tool is you set the opacity to about 50%. There, I got 45%. And now you can come in and you can really just loosen up, well, make sure you alt or option select to sample a point, then you can really come in and just really lighten up all of the veins that are there in the eye without losing or, you know, sort of, I don't know, adding all kinds of unnecessary and unwanted details. So I can go over this eyeball everywhere and just kind of clear that stuff away. It also helps if you're working with a lot of really high resolution photography. A lot of times you can actually see the edge of a, a contact lens and you can go over and just kind of smooth that right out. Clone stamp tool set to 50% opacity or the regular old good old healing brush are great and effective ways to do that. So that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.